You are looking live at Kyle Field in College Station, Texas, on a very special day. The Texas A&M Aggies are playing their first game as a member of the SEC. Their opponent, the Florida Gators, have won two of the last six BCS championships. It figures to be a tough introduction to the toughest conference in the country. The Aggies wouldn't have it any other way. And their new head coach, Kevin Sumlin, led the team to the stadium on the traditional walk, firing up the fans as he came. You're watching the SEC on ESPN. The Florida Gators have taken the field. Their first ever appearance, Will Muschamp, their second year coach. And now here come the Aggies. will hold it. Sturgis will kick it away. And just bring this one out to the 25-yard line under the new rule. Side. Michael is jammed. With the line of scrimmage, Manziel snaps it off, trying to get a screen here on third and a bunch. And he's going to take off. Cuts up the middle. Close to the first down. Going to depend on the spot. Very close. And in the first half last week, after a big year last year with penalties. Changed the momentum of this game. No question. Michael cuts. That 16-yard run had to settle this young man. Look at him fire that ball off to the left. The quarterback. Michael. That was a beautiful play. The Wildcat for the first time. And stuff, but a helmet comes off. They're going to go for it on fourth down. Play action. Roll to the left. An easy first down. Beautifully executed to Hicks. Folks, are you impressed by Manziel? Snaps off another completion, but not much of a gain. Come on. Off a double fake. Throw back to the near side to Michael. Back. He's a bull. Manziel fires on a crossing pattern, and it was dropped. Starting job. Fade, jump ball, incomplete. Backfield. Remember, he can run. Now flips it into the end zone. You Flicks see the like line. A point guard. Yeah, he's well illegal across. pass. Well illegal across. forward pass. How about Brent? How about illegal but forward pass on the offense? The quarterback was beyond the line of scrimmage. Five-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Also down. Fourth and goal. And they strike first with a 27-yard field goal. Play action to him. Come back now. And they hit the motion man, Trey Burton. Pockets clean. Fires a beauty into the middle of the field for a first down. An injury. That team is not deep. On a draw play. Driscoll and the Gators need six. Sideline pass, got the first down. Down at the Aggies, 35. Come back with that power game and Gillisley. Pistol is the look. And he keeps it. Driscoll, a good runner. They show power with Gillisley again. Hurry there, Mac Brown. And they went to the fullback. Down. That was Hunter Joyer, and they were trying to strip him at the end. Now a fake on the field goal inside shuttle to Burton and he picks up the first down but there's a penalty flag. Personal foul, grasping the face mask. Defense number 72, half the distance to go, automatic first down. I think you're right because they put him back and they show shotgun and then hand it off, touchdown. Then they came right back with Gillisley. So they snapped it to Burton on the Wildcat, and he hands to Gillisley just a different version of the same old song. Yeah. Manziel on a quarterback draw, slips a tackle, and he's got a first down. Manziel stands in, snaps it off, and it is complete. Third down, snaps it off, complete another first down. Only the best, and now he's an Aggie. On first down, Michael. Job for yep. the Aggies. Yep. We I mean, look at the time he's got. 
Over the top, one-handed grab. This is the Texas All-Stars against the Florida. Basically is. There's Molina running free. He's got another first down. And making quick reads. Michael back in. And he bursts for eight yards. Third and short right now. A low option. Flips it to the trailing back. Quarterback draw. Field opens. Five touchdown Aggies. Their first SEC touchdown. Linebacker and the freshman Antonio Morrison will hold fourth. And now the sensational Williams. Look out. Now Hicks is back there in the backfield. Play action fake. Look at him escape the rush. And he'll take it to the sideline out of bounds. This is an, that's impressive here early in his game. Up tempo, set the screen pass, something going on the near side. Look out, Williams again, crosses midfield. Staying coaching for a long time. The handoff is to Molina, who's brought down. Oh, what another fake. Throwing. Their heads are spinning right now. And Molina pounds the middle. Hands off. Michael takes a snap and slips into the end zone, waiting for the signal. Touchdown! The center. Gillisley on first down, breaks into the middle. And a slip for the first down. Play action, Driscoll. In trouble. Two and a half of those four sacks by Moore. They can't handle it. They snap it off. And Reed runs free. Beautiful run after the catch. Second down and ten. Driscoll drops off the screen against that rush. Gillisley. Now trying to get in there. They pick Moore up. Rolls to the right and pushed out of bounds. That one was long enough, but it didn't count, huh? This one on its way again, and this might even be a better one. A 51-yarder. Oh, look. Play fake. In a foot race. Driscoll pulls away. Comes down near side. Incomplete. Gillersley swings to the right on a fine run. They flash with the end around. Patton with another first down in the backfield. He gets the carry. Left side. Second down and five. Driscoll slow steps his way to a first down. Driscoll fires right. Another first down inside the tent. Keep it. Here comes Driscoll out to the right side. Burton in a foot race. Can't get back to the line of scrimmage. Driscoll. Incomplete, and they do it again. 25-yard field goal attempt for Sturgis. He's already hit a 51-yarder. Adds that one. The Gators threatening to score a touchdown. Settle for a field goal on their first drive of the second half. Back for Jeff Driscoll. Driscoll's going to put it up on first down. And it is complete. Won this week, I guess. <laughs> no, I just missed that. Anyway, here we go. It's the coach's worst nightmare. Oh my. Let's go back in the gun. Snaps one off to Hines. And Hines Green. Went out. Gillisley is back in for Driscoll. Pressure coming again. And oh, how they missed the right tackle. And Harris is back deep for the Aggies. Fair catch at the 18-yard line. And how proud he must be of his son. They flip it now to Evans on the outside. Mike Evans busy over there. Who's watching this from Wyoming today? Third and 14. Slips outside. He's not going to run for 14. Driscoll snaps off a completion. He continues at right tackle. Ooh. Nothing to a field. He's going to try to throw forward or else he'll scramble. Takes his time. Now he's in a foot race. Going to try to make it. And he does. 
That's what they want out of him, Herbie. Jones is the Gator running back. Gets it into the middle, and, and as a result, third down and five. Now Driscoll, and a foot race to the outside. Short of the first down. Back again, with Harris standing at the 10-yard line. Fair catch at the nine. Tough field position. From the pocket again, snaps it off, and it's complete to Thomas Johnson. Manziel. Pocket. Well, here's third and three. Some third downs are bigger than others, and he's going to get thrown down, ripped out. That's here. To hang it high. And he makes the fair catch. Gets the first carry. Second and five. Fake the inside handoff. Goes down the right side. Complete. Something was up. They flash the end around this time. They toss to him. Got a hole. Now he has to jump outside because of Porter, and he still makes the first down. Tiptoes down toward the end zone. Touchdown is the call on the field. It was just a question of whether or not he could stay in bounds, but what a beautiful run for his second touchdown today and fourth of the season. Side Manziel. Quarterback draw. Complete, but short of the first down. Pick up a first down. Now he needs six. He's got to get it downfield. Snaps it off, and it is. The Gators with the lead. They'll start with a quarterback draw. Manziel steps it outside. Nothing doing. Need a completion. Didn't get it. <laughs> Third down and ten now for the Aggies. Manziel takes off. Could not get to the first down. Driscoll into the sunshine with the first down. Draw play. Jones not going to get the first down. Jones not going to get there. That's the seventh penalty of this game against the Aggies. They come back with a run. You don't have to do it all by yourself. You've got a lot of guys who can help you. Well, he gets through for the first down, and then he takes a shot. And so, this is what the stop with a fine tackle. Complete. Evans, and he battles his way for a first down. Manziel is 23 of 29, hands it. Goodwin, entire Matthews family. Manziel in trouble. Steps out to the left. Can he throw back? Now he fires it and to avoid the big mistake here. Punt and hope he can get it back. Shakes free. Now he gets the first carry. Sprints ring the big Burn back the foul, down. Face mask. 94. 15 yard penalty. Automatic first down. Brown. And they come back with that end around that's been successful. And the Patton swings free, and he's got a big first down. Timeouts. Brown is stopped. Oh, a beautiful fake. Driscoll, 40, 33. What a call by Brent Pease. Exits inside of a minute. And Mac Brown, second down and four, taking a knee. That they had to maintain, keeping him in the pocket, exactly. forcing him to throw from the pocket, getting an extra man down in the box to stop the running game. Stealing a page from Nick Saban against Michigan last Saturday night when they kept Denard Robinson bottled up. They yep. did the same thing here to Manziel, and he just couldn't beat him with his arm. Yeah, and, and for all the criticism that Will Muschamp takes, talk show hosts and all the people that like to get after him, give him some credit because the Gators deserve that for coming on the road in his first SEC game for A&M and getting a big win when they were down 17-7. to That was an impressive job by the Gators and Will. Yeah, but if you can't beat Tennessee, you can go back to criticizing. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, that's the deal, right? Uh, Kevin Sumlin. Got a bright future here at Texas A&M, I believe, despite the fact they couldn't hold on today. I liked a lot of things I saw. A lot of freshmen. Uh, he played. I think they're going to be okay.